What up Instagram and YouTube, it's your boy Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with another ill-prepared knife review video. I got another one from Timbo437. This is the Petrified Fish Beluga. All right, this thing is pretty awesome. Um, let's go over it. It's got an awesome, classic drop point blade shape. Love the blade shape. Um, no thumb studs, it's got a, a fuller. That works great. All right, it's also a front flipper. Uh, blue micarta handle scales. I'm sure they come in other flavors. A micarta backspacer, milled stainless steel liners. The knife is a liner lock. It looks like it's about 50% lock up. Um, Bowler K110 is the blade steel. If you guys don't know about Bowler K110, it's essentially the equivalent of D2 steel. So I could get down on that. I love D2. And this is a uh, nice variant equivalent, right? So hidden lanyard hole love that um, it's got a standard deep carry clip but it's it mounts here down in the end of the scale if you can see that so that gives you that extra 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 deep carry but the clip itself isn't super sturdy wobbles around um, when you grab it in hand you can feel it move I can feel it here so that's something I'm not super cool about um, also, I just realized it, but this this knife's missing a couple screws. There were some screws in a bag um, in the box, and I'm wondering if those are, if that's where they belong. I, I don't really know. I'll have to look into that a little further. That's my first time noticing that. <clears throat> Another thing that I think is cool about this knife is in the package you get nylon washers, you get foster bronze. Right now this thing's running on bearings, so it has a bit of like a tri-way type thing going on where you can swap the, the washers of your choice around, all right? The action on the bearings is very smooth. There's the front flipper right there. It's out of the way, but it's very, very nice to use. Um, can also spidey flick it out, or you can thumb roll it with the fuller. I like the fuller. I think the fuller's a really cool addition to this piece. I really like the the micarta. I think it's uh, it's done well. It's not super super rough like some of the other micartas that I really enjoy, but it's it's almost there. It's almost there. They did a really good job, and I really like the color. So that's big too. Um, interesting pivot, petrified fish. It says PF on it right there, and it's a captive pivot. So that's neat. It's got nice thick liners. It's a nice chunky chunky boy. It's like three and a half inches long. It's got a nice broad blade, but what I like about it is it has a, it's very thin behind the edge. The grind is still very, very nice, and uh, it works very good for all types of slicing. It's a very, very good piece. Um, the fuller terminates here down at like a nice, not a swedge, but it terminates nicely is what I'm getting at. I really like that a lot. All right. Also some nice jimping here on the top. Very, very cool piece. Definitely a nice knife. I would definitely, I'm not sure of the price point on this, but I'm th I think it's under 100 bucks. And uh, if that's the case, I'd definitely be interested in something like this. Um, like I mentioned before, the reason I like it is because it's got such a broad blade. It's bl broad blade and it's such a wide handle, but it's a very thin blade grind. So it makes for a nice EDC slicer. And it's definitely, definitely a good piece. Definitely fits in the hand well. The ergonomics are great cannot complain about that all right all right so petrified fish beluga enough about that let's talk about my edc real quick i'm wearing the mammoth headgear mountain trucker hat as usual for my watch i'm wearing a Tissot prx this is a very very nice quartz watch all right they make it in a powermatic automatic but this is the quartz version and uh you're getting some serious finishing on this an integral bracelet really nice finishes on here this is definitely a step up from some of my other watches i've had this thing for quite a while when i saw it i had to have it so really like this piece a lot all right the dial is very nice and subtle all right so i know you wanted to see the purple bark river so this is it i'm going to talk about it a little bit this is a bark river adventurer l max um really really nice knife my wife got it for me for christmas it has this beautiful purple acrylic handle scale material that just dances in the light it looks like a beautiful galaxy all right it looks like a starry galaxy i really like it a lot stainless steel pins 
L-Max blade steel, nice finger choil up here. See, Bark River Adventure L-Max. It's got a fuller for show. It's got some nice jimping in all the right spots. I added this green lanyard to it because, I don't know, the purple and the green just gave me the Joker feels and I thought it was kind of neat. Overall, let's compare it size-wise to the um, Petrified Fish. All right, so it's not a large knife by any means, right? But it's definitely a really good EDC size. And if you can see, this purple acrylic just looks so good at every single angle. It's so cool. When I saw it, I knew it was mine. And uh, yeah, the blade grind on here is really nice. Convex edge. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Some people might say it's funny looking because of the forward choil and the blade shape, but I really like the way it looks and I like the way it feels. It just makes sense for me and my hands, my big hands, this little knife makes a lot of sense for me. All right. So there it is. Bark River Adventure LMAX. And my folder today, carrying my trusty little native in Rex 45. You can see there's a lot of patina going on there. Um, I just saw that they're going to be releasing a little native Warncliffe, which is interesting. Um, I think that that'd be a cool blade shape for a knife this size, make it a utility knife. So that's what I'm carrying. I'm also carrying the Taurus 605 again, 357 revolver. I'm not going to pull it out because I'm in a populated area. All right. Um, let's see what else I got. Obviously, the Axial Gear Pinch Bar. Taurus I3T EOS and that's gonna do it for me today guys All right so if you like this kind of video smash the like button hit the subscribe button tell your boy salty red corn what you want to see I'll do my best to make it happen until next time stay safe stay warm stay sharp peace out